Hello everyone, my name is Jennifer and welcome to Best Kept Plans. Today's video is going to be a reading vlog. I actually started filming this reading vlog a few days ago but realized that I never actually filmed an intro so I thought I'd come on and do that. I have been wanting to film a reading vlog for a while. I did post one I think in January but what I've realized is that filming these reading vlogs is a bit challenging for me given that I do have a full-time job. I am off for the first two weeks in April and so I thought it would be a great opportunity to film another reading vlog for you all. I think given that I'm off for two weeks I'll probably be able to get two reading vlogs out of that time off. And the reason that I took two weeks off is actually because I had to have surgery on April 1st. I had to have my gallbladder removed. Fortunately, that is more of a minor surgery and I've been doing really, really well since surgery, which I'm so, so thankful for. So this vlog is going to start out with some clips of me the morning of the day of surgery. I hope you all enjoy this video. And if you're interested in seeing me dive into the Throne of Glass series, keep watching. Officially, the day after surgery and I'm feeling good the pain post-op is nothing compared to the pain I was having when I would have a, an attack so that's really nice today is also April 2nd which is a big book day two books that I'm like so so excited about are coming out today my best friend texted me and on her way to work this morning she got me the rule book and just for the summer I don't deserve her. Like, look at this. That's so amazing. Like, so sweet. So unnecessary. So, I have been reading Throne of Glass. Not a ton, obviously, because I was pretty out of it yesterday. But I did get to chapter 12, and I'm really, really enjoying it so far. I've heard Throne of Glass starts kind of slow and picks up as the series goes on. But I'm thoroughly entertained and intrigued. But I think... That I'm not going to be able to resist the lore of the rule book. I'm going to pick this up now. I'm going to read this. It's short, so hopefully I'll be able to read it today and maybe finish it tomorrow. And then get back into Game of Thrones. So that's my plan for right now. Hi, friends. Still in bed. <laughs> oh, no. That hurts. <coughs> oh. Coughing hurts. Thank God, I haven't had to do much sneezing. I sneezed once earlier today and I it hurt. It was not fun. Started the rule book, like I mentioned. I couldn't resist starting it. And I am now currently on chapter, I'm about to start chapter 19, which is page 146. So I'm definitely making my way through it. You know, not quite halfway, but almost halfway. I'm really enjoying it so far. I did read the first like two little paragraphs of chapter 19 and I think we're going to really dive into the interestingness of the story at this point so yeah i just wanted to do a little update tell you all how far i got in the book and that i'm liking it i always love sarah adams books sarah adams just it just hits right for me so i'm not surprised i'm liking this as much as i am but i'm happy i'm liking it as much as i am hi everyone it is now the morning of april 3rd i'm officially two days out from surgery I'm doing okay. I really haven't had a ton of pain through all this. I didn't update a ton yesterday and that's because I think I was trying to 
do more than I probably should have been doing a day out from surgery. I did read in the morning and I did try to assist with some spring cleaning and I think that's probably when I did a little too much. And so then I spent a lot of like the evening time just reading and I did pick up the rule book. I got a really big chunk of the way into it yesterday. I think I got to chapter 37 and then this morning when I woke up, I read the rest and I liked it. I knew I was going to like it. I just love Sarah Adams writing. I love just how light and fluffy her books can be. This is not my favorite book by her. I'll say that. I did enjoy our characters. I liked the way that they were trying to kind of navigate beyond their past history together, but I almost wish we would have gotten a little bit more of a deep dive into that and into them really trying to work through that. So I, I'm going to settle, I think, on a four star for this one. Again, still really liked it. Still has all of that Sarah Adams charm, but it just isn't my favorite book from her or my favorite characters from her, I guess I'd say. So I have my Kindle here. I plan on getting back into Throne of Glass today. I'm on chapter 12. I'm really enjoying it. Like I've heard some mixed things about the first few books in the Throne of Glass series and people saying that the series doesn't get good until you're like four or five books in. But in terms of the first 11 chapters of Throne of Glass, I'm really liking it. Like the main character seems interesting. I'm definitely curious about her. I'm curious about these challenges that she's going to have to face. I'm curious about the dynamics between her and a couple of the characters that we've already been introduced to. So I'm really liking this so far and very excited to be able to get back into it today. It's funny because I purchased a bundle on Kindle of all of the Throne of Glass books. I have 125 hours and 59 minutes left in this book, which is, you know, a little bit intimidating, but it is what it is. <laughs> yeah, that's my plan today is to make a chunk out of this, but I also really want to work on my reading journal today. So I have several spreads for March that I haven't finished. Like this is what a finished spread should look like, but I have a bunch of spreads that are just like this. So I do want to do that. I want to try to like dive into that today. So yeah, that's my plan today is read some Throne of Glass, update my reading journal, and hopefully pain just keeps getting better and better. Hi everyone. It is now almost three o'clock. I have not read it all today. I've actually been pretty uncomfortable. Yeah, I tried to work on my reading journal. That didn't, that didn't go very well. So I am going to pick up my Kindle now and start reading more Game of Th oh my god. Start reading more Throne of Glass. Not Game of Thrones. No, not Game of Thrones. Oh, yeah, yeah. And I'm eating some saltines. Yeah, hopefully the saltines will go okay. And I'm just gonna read some Game of oh my god. Some Throne of Glass. Oh my gosh. Today is April 4th. I was wearing this outfit the other day. Don't judge me. It's a matching sweatshirt and sweatpants and it's super comfy and that's all I want to be in right now. I didn't spend as much of yesterday reading as I thought I was going to. I did attempt to do some spreads in my reading journal. It didn't go well. <laughs> I was super uncomfortable trying to like sit up the way that I needed to to do that but then I did read the book in the evening time I took a little bit of a nap at one point and then picked it up I 
did read a little bit while I was having breakfast this morning. We are now on chapter 31, which is page 273. I'm thoroughly enjoying this like I am liking this so much which is awesome I also have a little bit of a theory in my brain we're in the midst of our main character competing but also there's this like secondary mystery situation happening and I'm curious if this mystery that's going on this big bad ooh thing that's going on is has been put into place by this female character that our main character has kind of formed a connection with and enjoy spending time with. So if you've read the book, I'm hoping that'll give you enough detail so you'll know who I'm talking about. But that's like the only theory I have in my brain. Other than that, I'm just along for the ride. I'm really enjoying it. I'm really liking the little snippets of potential romance that we're getting. I'm definitely feeling better today than I did yesterday morning and hoping that that continues. I did just take ibuprofen and Tylenol. I think I'm just gonna lay low for the next few hours and just focus on reading and see where the rest of the day takes me. I'll definitely update you. I ventured outside of my home for the first time today and it went well. I just went to the post office really quickly to mail something. I am now on chapter 35 of Throne of Glass. What I have had read has been thoroughly entertaining. I'm really planning on just continuing to read for the rest of the day. So I am back on my bed again, gonna read again. And yeah, I don't even know how long this book is. So I don't even know how far along I am in it. But I'm hoping I'm at least halfway through like how many chapters does this have 55 chapters and I'm on 35 so I have 20 chapters left so something just happened with and I looked up the pronunciation of this name it's the guard c-h-a-o-l and the pronunciation I looked up said it was pronounced kale and so yeah something just happened with kale like he asked our main character something or was going to ask her something but got cut off and I'm like what was he going to ask her? Like, I need to know what he was going to ask her. So curious if we'll dive back into that again. Okay, so I just got to chapter 40 and 39 was great. The romance is romancing and I'm loving it. Personally, I'm very invested right now. I am going to get back to reading more of Throne of Glass because I am... I need to see what happens here. Like, I need to see what happens from the romance perspective. I need to see what's going to happen in terms of, like, this undercurrent of mystery that's going on. Like, I mentioned earlier that I was kind of, like, predicting that this other female character might be involved in the villainous situation and that's what the book is now starting to lead me to believe which is now making me think that my prediction was wrong so like I'm thinking if they're trying to lead me that way then that's not actually what happens but I'm very curious like I yes I want to finish this book I'm actually going to finish it today I'm on chapter 40 there's 55 chapters I feel like I could do it and I want to do it because <laughs> I want to know how this ends so yeah I'm gonna get going on that Hi guys. So I lied last time I talked to you. I did not go right back to reading. I actually decided to help with a little bit of screen cleaning. Obviously I can't do much because I can't lift anything. So yeah, I'm still in chapter 40. But I did just shower and I'm getting ready to eat dinner. And then I am going to devote the rest of the night to reading. Hey guys. It's now like 10.30 at night. I definitely did too much earlier or like ate too much with dinner or something. I'm not really having like incisional pain from surgery and more having like GI pain. So I don't really know what I did, but I'm pretty uncomfortable right now. I'm hoping that gets better so I can actually sleep tonight. But I did finish Throne of Glass and I really, really liked it. The ending did get a little bit chaotic, but I do still think I was able to understand what was happening. And yeah, I'm very much looking forward to Crown of Midnight and I'm actually kind of 
forcing myself not to start Crown of Midnight tonight. I do actually want to try to get to sleep soon. So yeah, I liked it. I'm pumped to continue with the series. Hi everyone, it is now the morning of April 5th, Friday, April 5th. I am feeling so much better this morning than I was last night. So I finished Throne of Glass last night. I really liked it. Even with it getting chaotic at the end, I still enjoyed it. It makes me want to know more. It makes me want to read more. So yeah, I ended up reading it four out of five stars. I actually thoroughly enjoyed it. I enjoyed it a lot more than I thought I was going to, which is really cool. So when I woke up this morning, I started Crown of Midnight on my Kindle. I am intending on spending the majority of my day reading. I think that I did way too much yesterday and I felt it yesterday night. And so I think I need to actually like take a step back, calm, calm down and just rest. I'm hoping to get like at least halfway through Crown of Midnight. And it is actually a two part book and part two is just over halfway. So if I could finish part one of Crown of Midnight today, I would be very happy with that. Oh yeah, we got an earthquake this morning. We had an earthquake this morning. I live in Connecticut. We do not get earthquakes in Connecticut. Apparently there was an like a 4.8 magnitude earthquake in New Jersey and I felt it here. All of a sudden I'm like, oh my god, is is the roof falling? Like is the roof of the house falling down? Like that's what it felt like. The whole house kind of shook a little bit and it felt like the roof was falling apart. And then I like put on the TV on the news a few minutes later just like just to put it on and they were like earthquake, tri-state earthquake and I was like, okay, that's what I felt. That ma that makes sense. It yes, that makes sense. So, yeah, it's definitely been an interesting morning here. Uh but I am going to dive into Crown of Midnight. I do have the physical copy, but I'm really enjoying reading on my Kindle right now. So, instead of picking up the physical copy, I'm just going to continue reading on my Kindle and I'll update you later. <music> So I did read a couple more chapters in Crown of Midnight, but then I fell asleep for two hours. So there's that. I, yeah, we'll see. Yeah, I'm going to try to read more. Remember how I said after the last clip that I was going to read? I fell asleep again for an hour and 45 minutes. <laughs> I do have my Kindle. I am now going to actually start reading. I don't know what chapter I'm on, but I am actually going to read now. I am actually going to read now. But I'm, I'm doubting my ability to get through part one of this book tonight since I basically took like almost a four hour nap today. So yeah, there's that. Reading is going to commence now. Hey guys, I just got out of the shower. I did read for a while after I last updated. I didn't fall asleep for a third time today. I am currently on chapter 17. So... Definitely not thinking I'm making it to part two of Crown of Midnight before the end of the night because I think part two starts on chapter 30. I don't know that I foresee myself reading 13 chapters from now until when I go to sleep. It's not that late yet. It's not even nine o'clock yet, but I, I still don't know that I see that happening. It is now, I think it's April 6th. It's it's Saturday. It's Saturday morning. I think I've decided that this vlog is just going to be like a whole week. I'm going to film it from Monday to Sunday. And then because I'm actually off from work for two weeks, I think I'm going to start a new vlog next Monday. I haven't taken any medications for pain today. I 
did get to part two of Crown of Midnight last night. I wasn't sure that I was gonna get there, but I did actually end up getting to it. Part one definitely ends in a very shocking way. And so obviously I couldn't stop reading and I did keep reading a little bit more. I'm currently in the middle of chapter 44 right now. I'm definitely enjoying this book, but I don't know that I'm enjoying it as much as Throne of Glass. In this book, during part one, I was really, really liking what was going on from a romantic perspective, like I was thoroughly, thoroughly enjoying that. But what was happening in terms of our main character kind of diving deeper into the mysteries of this kingdom that she's in, I wasn't necessarily liking that as much as I liked the challenges in the first book. Once part two rolled around, I was frustrated, like very frustrated, and I still am from a romance perspective, were relying much more heavily on building the world and building like the mythology of this world and the magic of this world, which I think I'm enjoying more now than I did in the first part of the book. 56 chapters and I'm on 44. So I do feel like I will be able to finish this book today. I definitely have a goal of finishing this one today. So once I finish this, I wanna pick up something that's on my TBR. I'm not liking this one as much as the first, but I'm enjoying it more the more we get into it. I'm just, man, I was really enjoying the romance in the first half of this book. And now I'm like, Ugh. I think I've also decided that I maybe want to do like a spoilery video on Throne of Glass, kind of like a sit down video, maybe after I finish each book, kind of stating my feelings on each book in more of a spoilery way. I'm definitely feeling more comfortable and feel like I could potentially attempt to dabble in my reading journal today. We'll see. Definitely want to finish Crown of Midnight today. I'll check in later. Okay, so I am still on chapter 44. I'm just picking up my book again. I ended up editing and am now uploading my budget with me for the end of April. But I just thought of something. I'm thinking of something very major. And this, I don't think it's going to get revealed in this book, but I feel like this book is really laying down some clues about it. And so part of me is wondering if they're laying down clues because they want me to think something that isn't actually going to be true. But then part of me is like, what if it is true? Because they keep commenting on this it's heir to a throne of a different kingdom. And, you know, saying that that person must be deceased, but then also people thinking that that person isn't deceased. And if you've read the books, you know what I'm thinking, right? Like, you know what I'm thinking? I'm getting vibes. That's all I'm going to say. Yeah, we'll see. I don't know. Hi, everyone. So I just finished reading Crown of Midnight. And I feel like the last time I really checked in, everything just went bananas after that. Like... <laughs> Once we got to part two, like I was so frustrated with what was going on with the romance, but the world building was like really starting to get good and it just kept getting better and better and better. And I do feel like we got to a point with the romance where I'm at least okay with what's happening from that perspective. Oh my. Also, like I commented on something that I was thinking about that I was like, maybe this is true. I wonder if this is true. I didn't think it was going to get revealed in this book, but it did get revealed right at the end of this book and I was correct and I'm so glad I was correct and yeah, like, oh, like everything is, oh God, oh, I'm so excited. I'm actually already significantly invested in this story. I will say that the order that I'm reading this is the order that Sarah J Mass more recently commented on in an interview that she did. That's why I read... Throne of Glass first, Crown of Midnight second, and the next book that I'm going to get into is The Assassin's Blade, which as far as I know is a collection of short stories that are going to take place before anything that's gone on in these two books. So a part of me is excited to learn more about 
our main character's backstory but also part of me is like I just want to know what's happening next like I want to know what's gonna happen next I ended up really really liking this and so I rated Throne of Glass four stars and I'm like do I rate this four and a half because of how good the ending was <sighs> I think I rated four and a half because of how good the ending was, genuinely. I think that's what I'm gonna do. So yeah, <laughs> that's what's happened. For some reason I'm feeling romancy. And so I think I'm just gonna go into past, present, future. I think I'm gonna take some time right now to like decompress, but yeah, that's, that's my plan. I don't know when I'll check in with you guys, maybe tonight, if not tomorrow. It's 3.30 in the afternoon. <laughs> Sunday, April 7th. This is the last day I'm filming this reading vlog. I did start Past, Present, Future last night. I started it like late last night, like after 9 p.m. And I got almost 100 pages into it. And then when I woke up this morning, I read page 114. So I really haven't read much at all today. And the reason I haven't read much at all today is because I finally really updated my reading journal. I did sit and took a few hours and finished putting all of these spreads together. And then I did my March recap page. And then I was able to do my April intro pages. And I just filmed a plan with me for this. I am going to actually read some of past present future i'm this far in so i don't know like my goal was to finish this today and i thought that was going to be like very reasonable and it is a fast read but i don't know that i'm going to get almost 300 pages read throughout the rest of today i will say i'm actually really liking it so far this one is picking up when our characters are moving away from home to start college and it's such a relatable phase of life where you kind of don't know like what to do what's going on who you are like you're trying to form all new friendships you're away from home so I'm really actually enjoying it and I'm definitely into it immediately off the bat versus the last one it took me a while to get into so I'm excited I'm excited to read it today keep reading it today but I don't know that I'm gonna finish it Okay, so it's almost seven o'clock at night. I'm just to about 50% of the way through past, present, future. I am still enjoying it. We're like halfway through this freshman school year now and the characters I think are just kind of struggling a little bit with their new environment and, you know, missing home, missing each other kind of a thing. So I'm still having fun reading it. I'm going to continue to read it for the rest of the night, but I'm not thinking I'm going to get through like 200 pages tonight. So I'll probably end up finishing it tomorrow. I do plan on trying to do one more check in tonight though. Hi everyone. So it is 11 o'clock. I actually just finished Past, Present, Future. I was able to finish it tonight, which is great. The second half of the book definitely went a lot quicker than the first half. So I thought that I would share with you all kind of my thoughts on it while I did my skincare. I definitely liked this book more than the first book in the series, more than Today, Tonight, Tomorrow. And I think that makes sense you know, when you're talking about a series, obviously in the second book, you already have an established relationship. And so I think it's just easier to get invested in the story. And like I mentioned, in the content of this one is definitely very relatable with our two main characters going away to school. The second half of the book definitely gets deep. It definitely delves into more challenging subject matter with regards to mental health and 
I found that to be very, very well done and also very refreshing to read about in a book that's targeted to teens and young adults. Yeah, I ended up really enjoying it. I rated the first book, I had to look back at my Goodreads, I rated the first book a 3 out of 5, which I, I stick to that rating. I definitely think that was appropriate for that book. But this one, it's a 4 for me. Like, it's definitely a 4. And I mean, honestly, if you catch me on a good day, I could probably even say it's a four and a half. Like, I think it was a very, very solid follow up to the first book. I think it went deeper and I think it benefited from that. I think Rachel and Solomon did a really great job. So I'm very happy to have read it. This doesn't come out until June. I don't know if I mentioned that earlier. I got this as an arc. I highly recommend it. If you haven't read the first book, I think it's worth reading the first book to read this one. And if you have read the first book, definitely pick up this one. It's worth it. So yeah, that's going to be it for this reading vlog. Finishing off the last book for this vlog on Sunday at 11 p.m. I'm not mad about it. I'm looking forward to starting a new vlog tomorrow and picking up the next Throne of Glass book tomorrow and seeing what next week has in store for me with regards to reading and I hope that you all stick around and watch my next vlog and yeah that that's it. I hope you all enjoyed this video. As always everyone please be safe. Bye bye.